Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all doing well. It is Tuesday. We kicked off this week in our last episode with this team that you can see on your screen in front of you right now. Just to recap, it is the Mega Manetric. We've got Lunala, Kyogre, Tapu Lele, Cortana and Hydreigon. It's always the team is down in the description below. There is a Roll Piss and a Poker Piss. Go check it out. Try it out. And as I, like I always say, if you do try it out, let me know in the comments how you get on with the team and what you're enjoying about it and maybe what you would change about it if it was yourself going forward with the team but we had two really good games yesterday to kick us off with this team if you've missed them and you'd like to catch up before coming into today's episode i'll link a card up there for you you can go and check that out and then come back and watch this one but without further ado let's just jump straight into today's episode hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent of the of the day and as always guys if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and do leave your comments let me know what you think of the, 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 the if I can even speak the team um, the matches our opponents anything and everything so we've got a first opponent like magic so click into music and we'll get into team preview oh this looks very familiar doesn't it this looks like a team that we were playing not so long ago on the channel is the reindeer core so we've got the Xerneas and the Kyogre making up that coined phrase then we've got the Amoongus support option there it's going to be Something used to deter around Trick Room, bring in and disrupt with Spore, Redirection and things like that. Then we got the Incineroar, got the Tornadoes and the Kangaskhan. Now we know from playing this team how much of a problem Tapu Lele was when we were trying to utilize these Pokemon. So Tapu Lele is definitely something I want to bring. Something I can lead as well because uh, there is no opposing terrain on my opponent's side of the field. And we know how much of an exploit this can be. So we will lead Tapu Lele. Do we want to bring Mega Manetric though? I think probably not. I think Lunala's a nice option here, definitely. Um, the Kangaskhan does worry me slightly, just because um, it can have, and probably has got Bite. So Manetric's good, especially with the Intimidate support. We got Snarl support there as well. Um, we want Kyogre for sure, and just about what we bring as our last one. Like, Cortana could be good here. The Tornadoes puts on a little bit of pressure there, but I don't know if my opponent brings the... the um, I really want to bring Cortana. I don't know if I want to bring Lunala to this match. I'm going to bring Cortana. Let's do it. Let's lock in against this, and hopefully we've got enough in the tank and utilize that Cortana again. It did so well in our last episode. It did amazing work, so hopefully it can continue that on today. Um... Cortana is such a great Pokemon. You know, when I was putting this team together, I went through so many variations of a Mega Manetric team. Like, I tried out Crobat, tried out Ferrothorn, and they were all alright, but never really hit that kind of note with you. You know, when something resonates with you, and you've got an idea, and you put it down on paper, and you test it out, and you're like, this is the one. This is what we want to be playing with. Um, and that's what it did. With the Cortana, it was amazing. As soon as I brought it, it was, it was incredibly good. Uh, so we're going to see... Angus Khan, and we're going to see uh, Xerneas lead out for my opponent. Could we... Uh, I don't really want to uh, Magic Room. I mean, one of the things we could do... Uh, this is the, the conflict. If we're not leading off with Cortana, and we decide to go for the Magic Room, it does become a little bit of a problem. Um, because we can't really utilize it and the Kangaskhan is a bit of a threat for us We do have the Intimidate of course here, so we could go Magic Room um, Right now with Lele and then just go for a Snarl and then we can kind of nullify Yeah, we'll go Magic Room for a change and uh, we'll Mega Evolve and uh, We're not gonna go Volt Switch. We're gonna Mega Evolve and we're gonna Snarl with Aminetric and then it should give us two turns to nullify the Geomancy boosts if my opponent does decide to go for it. They may not as well. Uh, but we're not going to see a fake out from the Kangaskhan. So the Intimidate here is going to be pretty useful. So see what my opponent decides to go for as the Intimidate onto the Kangaskhan. So important. Um, this is where Eerie Impulse would be very good because then you get two turns to Eerie Impulse as Xerneas and put it down to minus two when it's trying to go for a Geomancy. Um, Zone is actually just going for the protect here, so um, we're going to get the magic room off, which is which is nice. Um, but like I said, it does hinder the ability of our of our Cortana when it comes onto the field. It's not going to be able to activate that psychic seed, which you want it to do. Um, we talked about yesterday. Kangaskhan gone for an icy wind. <laughs> okay, wow. 
Um, mm, that's interesting. Not something you see every day. Lowering the speed of both targets on our side of the field. Um, we could skill swap the Kangaskhan with our Tapu Lele and just go for a Snarl. I mean, the thing is, we probably see the Xerneas attack this turn. Um, and I don't really want to lose our Psychic Terrain because I think it's very important for us. Um, but we do stop this Xerneas really being able to operate as well as we kind of want it to. Um, it could Volt Switch as well. I'm kind of tempted just to bring in Kyogre of our own and Volt Switch out onto the Xerneas here with our Manetric. We might see the Xerneas switch out to stall out these Magic Room turns. But I want to preserve Lele for later in the game if I can. So many options there with Lele though. We could win for the skill swap. I think the Icy Wind kind of puts me a little bit more on the cautious side of things. Because I don't want to just take a double edge Moonblast and lose it. And if we can maneuver our Cartana onto the field that would be incredibly good for us. Um, we'll probably move after everything with Manetric. There's the Moonblast from the Xerneas. It's going to be into Manetric. Jeez. Jeez Louise, does so much damage. Uh, we do get the uh, a critical hit in return. Um, hopefully you see the Kangaskhan actually go for an attack here rather than an Icy Wind. I don't really want to see an Icy Wind into Cortana. Uh, we want to see Cortana in a nice position now where it can stop threatening the Kangaskhan and this Xerneas. Um, obviously there's a the double edge. It's going to be into the... Uh, oh, it's going to be into the Cortana. Even better. Even better. We like that. Wanted to get rid of that. Manetric. Now, the thing is, I think the Xerneas is so pressured, uh, we're going to Water Spout and we're going to Sacred Sword into this Kangas Kong, because I think the Xerneas probably protects here, or either switches out, I'd imagine. So, trying to get a Sacred Sword onto the Kangas Kong, get some damage onto it, it's probably going to try an Icy Wind as well, you've got to imagine that's what it's going to go for, um, but we will go for that. And again, Hay Fever, guys, if I'm, if I'm all nasally, my eyes are puffy anyway, and uh, my nose is so itchy. So itchy. You know, I need to get some honey, local honey from around your area. It's going to be a really good uh, medicinal way to uh, get around hay fever because it's local pollen. So if you can do that, eat it. It's going to make it better. I did it a few years ago. It did did do the trick. Um, but we'll have to we'll have to see if it does it this time. I need to get some first. Uh, anyway, back to the match because we're going to see Zeni switch out uh, because of the threat of the Cartana. Uh, come in, Kyogre. So we're going to see what this Kangaskhan's going to do. It's going to actually switch out as well. So we're going to get a free water spout onto something. Bye bye. Incineroar. And uh, we'll get the Sacred Sword into that slot as well. So the opponent's not got many options. Uh, cannot utilize the um, Fake Out. But it does get the Intimidate onto our, uh, our Cartana. We do get a critical hit. Not really going to matter too much. But um, get some nice damage onto the Kyogre. And doesn't really matter what comes in now because if it's a Kangaskhan it probably goes for an Icy Wind so we can Sacred Sword that slot again. It's obviously going to take it a bit better now with the Intimidate drop that we've had there. Um, but the Kyogre's got to feel a little bit pressured from Cortana as well. I imagine the Kyogre probably protects. Um, so one thing we could do to get around it is just Water Spout protect Cortana in kind of expecting the... Um, Icy Wind from the Kata, from the Kangaskhan. Too many Ks on the field. Kyogre, Kangaskhan, Kyogre, Katana. I'm getting so confused. I don't know why I'm getting confused. There's no reason for me to get confused. Just chat and rubbish. So they will detect. There's the Origin Pulse. Um, okay. I mean, are you going to go for an Icy Wind with the Kangaskhan? That's what I would expect. Yeah, there's the Icy Wind. We want to try and avoid that. That's the thing. And get some nice damage onto... Actually, we avoid it with Kyogre. It doesn't really matter because we have the slowest thing on the field. But this is what we want. We want to get this Kangaskhan in range for a Sacred Sword this next turn. We know it can't protect. Um, and the Kyogre can. Um, do we bring anything else in, though? That's the that's the thing. Um, it's just taking an Origin Pulse. It's not... It's not ideal, but we can Sacred Sword get the boost from Kangaskhan. I think we take an Origin Pulse anyway from the opposing Kyogre. Um, we'll go for another Water Spout. And we'll go for that Sacred Sword into the Kangaskhan, which we know will outspeed. Yeah, Kyogre going to protect. We'll get the beast boost for free. Cartana running the show. 
last couple of games, isn't it? And then we've got the um, Xerneas to come in. And if the Magic Room runs out, which it's going to in one turn, I think, uh, we get our Psychic Seed boost, which just, you know, seals the game for us, really. There we go. So, oh, no, it actually disappears from the field. Okay. But, I mean, the next turn, what we can do. Um, Leaf Blade into the Kyogre. Yeah. Yeah, Leaf Blade Kyogre. Switch in Tapu Lele, get a seed boost, and then we can sick with Smart Strike. It's going to be tight, though. It is going to be very, very tight. Because I, there's a part of me that wants to not allow the Xerneas to get the boost. But it's got to feel very threatened here. It does. Although, they're kind of pinned, so their options aren't that great. So they go for the Geomancy anyway. I don't think you protect Xerneas at this point. Um, but, hopefully between Kartana and, and Tapu Lele and Kyogre and Militric we might be able to do something so yeah we're going to get the Leaf Blade into the Kyogre and that'll be enough we'll get another Beast Boost uh, that'll put us to plus one now I think oh no yeah there we go I was like why haven't we got the Beast Boost why haven't we got the Beast Boost there's a Geomancy which I'd expect you to do yeah hmm I wonder if we could be cheeky because if we can steal the Fairy Aura ability, that will make things a little bit easier for us. Because then if we steal it, we give Psychic Terrain over. We take away those big boosts that they, they do get. And I'm a little bit afraid that Cortana's in a position now where it can... I'm going to skill swap the Xerneas for sure. I'm just going to actually detect. I'm going to protect Cortana because I feel like you do go for... You do go for the Moonblast into that slot. And what we want to try and do is steal the Fairy Aura. Let's go on Dazzling Gleam. So, Lele should take this. I mean, Cortana would have taken that. Yeah, we take it. And now we can switch Lele out, get rid of that Fairy Aura boost, get Minetric onto the field. Smart Strike, pick up the knockout, and take this game. Because even a Moonblast now, with our card, we should be able to be able to take this. So... Like I said, what we'll do, we'll get rid of this. We'll get Minetric in. We'll probably sack that. Um, and look at Cortana's stats. We haven't had a Psychic Terrain boost, actually. Which is a little bit worrying. Where's our seed gone? Huh. That's weird. That it's not activated. Let's see. Um, hmm. Have we still got it? I'm really confused now. Yeah, we still got the psychic seed, and even though the psychic train is not activated, we haven't actually got, we haven't got that boost. So we're a little bit, we're a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, we need. Yeah, this is the thing. They go for a dazzle. We should be all right. Let's see. If they moon blast, we're in a bit of, a, we're in a bit of trouble. Now they're gone dazzling gleam. We should take this with Cortana. Yeah, without the boost. Is that like a weird mechanic where the Psychic Seed, because of the Magic Room, um, it's not allowing it to proc? That's so strange. I would have thought when Magic Room ended and we get the Psychic Terrain back on the field, it would proc, but who knows? Who knows? I feel like I'm losing my mind a little bit, but I don't think I am. Anyway, good game to my opponent. If any of you guys out there know, hit me up in the, the comment section let me know. Put me right. Um, so yeah, good win for us. Cortana coming through again. Uh, without that skill swap taking away the fairy aura, I don't think we would have been able to do that. Um, and a moon blast into the Cortana there. We get a little bit lucky because I think that would have been enough to uh, pick up the knockout. But get by by the skin of our teeth. Let's hop over into our main. Uh, Sinnoh Legend version 1. We'll go for that music today uh, for our next one. So... Yes, but things going all right with the team so far. It's been doing pretty well. Um, and M Minetric, when I saw the votes from the poll, I was like, oh, this is going to be a tough one to play around with. Like, I do like Mega Minetric a lot, but I was really struggling to put a team together with it where I was, like, comfortable with it and thinking, hmm, how can we get this to work? It could also, I think, fit in with a Groudon Lunala call, for sure, but I feel like I've played... One of the things on the channel uh, is I feel like I've played a lot of Groudon, a lot of Groudon and very little Kyogre. So I think we've played one team with Kyogre in, in the Ultra series, which I think 
um, I not been purposely staying away from but I think it's something that you know we need to explore a little bit more and see how it can operate and in, in a team like this it's quite nice to bring it back and feature it and still see it can do a nice job hopefully at some point we can get the hidden power water combo going I had a lot of opportunities in practice where it came off and it was pretty satisfying so it'll be nice to see us do that in this one taking a little bit longer to find our next opponent so I will cut to when we find our next opponent uh, so we'll be right back guys and we've got our next opponent of the episode we've got candy 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 and uh, they are playing a team of we'll jump into team preview and we'll go through it something sticks out like nothing else and it is that sharpedo there so I hope it's mega sharpedo that would be incredible to see but we're gonna see candy ears playing a team of what just wait a minute because that is just such a good Gamer tag, isn't it? Candy. I do love it. I'm getting a bit obsessed with it, but we'll get into the team. So, Xerneas requires we've got the X ray combination, got the standard support options next to it in Incineroar, Tapu Fini. Don't often see Stack Attacker in this team, but I do like it and do appreciate it. it gives the team a uh, Trick Room deterrent, tr anti Trick Room, and a Trick Room mod as well. And then you've got the Sharpedo, which is probably going to be maybe another Mega, but maybe not as well. If it's not Mega, then it could be Banded. It does have access to Speed Boost, it could have Focus Sash. Um, so, it's something we can need to watch out for especially with something like Lunala on our side of the field right what are we gonna do what are we gonna do what are we gonna do Manetric's very good here um don't know if we want to lead Tapu Lele because I do feel like Tapu Lele um I'm gonna bring Kyogre up front because I do think that we'll probably see the Incineroar the problem is though one of the things we need to kind of help ourselves check against is um the potential geomancy setup which will be a little bit vulnerable to otherwise uh, i will bring lele and probably leave lunala and go cortana in the back though we'll just lock in. because otherwise we're going to run out of time and we're going to be locked into uh, this this trainer profile as well look at candy just looks cool it's just a very cool trainer with a very cool name got a little bit of mind crush going on right now <laughs> big yeah but no but i mean yeah i think Sharpedo causes a lot of issues. <sighs> Leaving our speed control is something that we time and time again get like sucked into where we were we're um not having the best of times doing uh, like against the X ray call where we don't bring our speed control. We've done it once again, so something to think about going forward. But at least I'm doing it so you guys can pick up on it and be like, right, when I play X ray, speed control is so important, so important, so now, we might not need it in this match, but it's just about denying this this Geomancy here because it's going to be something that's probably likely going to come out now. I'm going to have to Mega Evolve Snarl. And do we just Water Spout? Just get some big damage onto the field. Try and get some big damage. I think I'm just going to... Uh, Sharpedo, what are you going to do? Going to go for a Z-move? We're going to be able to intimidate you, though, so you shouldn't be picking up the kill anywhere. Time soon, we're gonna see it switch out. Requires a command to the field, which you don't mind too much. Um, this is where the eerie impulse again comes in really, really useful. Uh, and the Sharpedo leading is the main reason I didn't want to lead um, with Lunala here. Uh, but there's no way for us to really stop. Oh, the Zony is going for just to protect. Okay. I do not mind that at all. And we'll, get, we'll break his sash potentially on this Rayquaza, and it's going to take a chunk of damage from this water spout regardless. Um, so, yeah. And it probably will Mega Revolve this next turn. Um, but it is. Is it minus one? It switched out before we Mega Revolved, right? So, yeah, we got the Intimidate onto it, which was extremely useful uh, so we'll just snarl again um, I could bring in Lele or I could just stay in with Kyogre as I think Lele Cartana is a really good end game for us if we can just kind of keep on top of stuff I'm just going to water spout again we might take a dragon ascent um, but yeah we get the snarl to both targets What's this requires are going to do? It's not mega evolving though, so the Sharpedo is probably the mega here that we're going to see utilized. There's the Earth Power, so these Snarls coming in massively helpful here as we do and are able to take that. Leaves Kyogre open to get another Water Spout off. 
does reveal the life orb on that requires and we do see the geomancy boost now it's only going to be plus one um so that is helpful especially when our cartana hits the field um, and getting just this water spark damage onto it as well is going to be useful. Should pick up the knockout onto the Rayquaza. Um, and like I say, like my whole point end game is going to be that that Cortana Lele. I think getting it in, especially with minus like just a plus one, makes such a difference on the Xerneas um, rather than plus two, especially for Cortana. Now that Xerneas is probably in smart strike range, depending on the build of the Xerneas. Um, and if we can get like at least a scald off into it, it makes things so much easier to deal with. Um, especially when Cortana hits the field. It's not going to worry about Sharpedo too much either. It's going to come onto the field now. You've got to think that the Xerneas probably... Does it dazzle and gleam? Does it dazzle? Because um, I could try Sneaky Snarl again. Uh, it's just... I feel like we'll probably see... Because I think the Sharpedo attacks into the Minetric here. I'm going to just Scald. So if we can get a burn as well into the Xerneas, that's going to help us out even more. And I don't really want to just lose Manetric so freely here. Um, it might be worth... Yeah, there's a Dazzling Gleam. So Kyle going to be able to take this pretty comfortably. Plus one. Let's see what it's doing. It's not too bad. Crunch. That's into the Kyogre, though. It's not what we wanted to see. It is not. But if we can get the Skull off, get this Burn off, that would be extremely good. Burn. There's a Speed Boost. Yeah, that's not exactly what we want to see either. But... Um... Hmm... Tapu Lele just going to be one of those things we could switch in just to, I think, get our terrain up, sack it, and then get Cortana out on the field and just protect Kyogre here rather than just let it go down. Because then we get the Intimidate onto that Sharpedo as well, which might be useful. Because um, I'd imagine we'll probably see Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it's going to Mega Evolve now. So it's got the one speed boost. That's all it needs. Mega Shot Peter. It's, it's such a cool Pokemon, isn't it? Never see enough of it. It is a very cool Pokemon now. So we'll protect Kyogre here. We'll see what the Xerneas goes for. Moonblast into that slot. Okay, so Lele might actually liquidation. This probably takes us down in the rain, to be fair. Yeah. Opens the door for Cotton to come back in. But we're in that situation again where we need to be a little bit more cautious with what we do. And maybe protect protect Cartana turn 1 on potential protect from, from the Xerneas. Um, so we'll get in, get that Psychic Seed boost. Because <sighs> it's so easy for us here just to go for... Um, I need the Intimidate, I think, with the Minetric onto the Sharpedo. Because it's going to be so easy for my opponent just to potentially double in on the Cortana as well. And we want to get the rain off the field. That's the big thing. It's just if we lose Minetric here, that would be a little bit problematic. Maybe we would have been better going for Protect with Cortana, Attack with Kyogre. Because um, then the rain will come back onto the field. Which is not ideal. But you got to remember that the Xerneas is only... It's only plus one. So it's not going to be doing as much damage to Cortana. So maybe we get... Oh, okay. We're not going to see any protects from my opponent this turn. It's interesting. There's a Moonblast into the Cortana. And a Crunch. Oh, double end in on that slot. Okay. Hmm. Could we... Should we go for the, the Leaf Blade this turn into the Sharpedo? Hmm. In a snarl. I just feel like the Xerneas protects here. Hmm. Live and die by the sword. I'm going to Leaf Blade the Sharpedo. I think the Xerneas protects. And I'm going to snarl as well. Come on, Zern, protect. We want to see it. No! Ah. Oh. Okay. We take that pretty well. Crunch. It's going to double up for sure. Yeah, we'll take this though. Wow, we actually don't take it. Man. That's a strong Sharpedo. Minus one as well. I mean, it has tough claws, right? I think so. That is boosted. But, whew. 
Yeah, and now Dazzle just gets us, but... Ah. Well, we wouldn't have gotten an attack off either way with Cartana, because uh, they doubled into it both times. That's where we maybe should have left Kyogre out on the field and just scalded, scalded the zone. Um, I've got to scald the zone now, and I'll try and protect Minetric. I just don't see us. Like, we need to scald, get a burn, and probably get a double protect with Minetric. But even then, the Sharpedoes, yeah. We can probably take a Dazzle from this range with Kyogre. But you probably double. Oh, you go into the Minetric. There's a small chance we can maybe do this burn. No burn. No burn. Nil poi. Um, yeah, now Dazzle comes out. And I just don't I just don't see us being able to do it from here. Liquidation's gonna be more than enough. We're protecting with Kyogre. When we don't necessarily need to, I think the match is done. We could have just hit that four foot button, but let's see how my opponent plays it out, because it's always nice and satisfying when you do you do get a nice victory um, to play the whole turn out so you can get that nice win. So yeah, Minetric going down to Dazzle. And Liquidation. I think it would have been into the Minetric anyway. And poor Kyogre, we have been undone by Sharpedo. I think the problem was, though, allowing the Geomancy to go up and it becoming such a problem. Um, but at the same time, the Sharpedo kind of, I would expect, no, it's, well, yeah, it, it kind of covers the Lunala. It really makes it very difficult. Like, Lunala Minetric there might have been the, the play to, to make, get the Intimidate onto the Sharpedo. Hopefully we take the Crunch from the Sharpedo, minus one, and then we can roar out. The Xerneas. We lose a lot of resource at that point though, so it becomes very difficult, but a uh, very good game to Candy, and you did not disappoint. I loved your username, loved your, your trainer profile, very good game, pleasure playing you, and uh, I'm sure everyone at home enjoyed seeing Mega Sharpedo do some work as well. Uh, I think, like, we could have approached it a bit differently. Um, just one of those things we've got to look back on and think how we could maybe approach it a little bit better um it's it's utilizing the cartana and making sure that we're denying the the geomancy boost as well so that's something to think about so a few options to think about going forward in this week but we'll continue on tomorrow and see what we can do with this team going forward but thank you so much for tuning in hope you've enjoyed today's episode have a great rest of your day whatever you're up to and i will catch up with you very soon take care of yourselves and bye bye